On the show today, I'm going to throw out some words, common words, because this is a part of our mainstay everyday language. Things like bread, toast, butter, scooter, right? These are things that we just think, yes, they're all around us, especially in India, scooters are such a regular thing. But there's one company in India that wants to break that, break that and become the Tesla of electric scooters. And that company is Ether. They came out with a new scooter and this scooter is literally breaking every single rule of how you think of a scooter, what a scooter can do and what you can do with that scooter, including a subscription that will keep you going on and on and on. Then we'll come back and we're going to do a very interesting story on this. This is a watch that literally does everything. It's from Lenovo. It's priced at 3500 and I'm still struggling to find a single feature that it cannot do. It does SPO2. Then we'll move on to TCL and their very, very smart AC on the show and then an app that could actually save people's life. All of that happening on the show today. This episode, we'll be whizzing around on a game changing electric scooter from Aether Energy, which comes with great power and performance. We'll also show you an air conditioner which is smarter than most humans, and yes, you can talk to it too. We'll also strap on the Lenovo Carme smartwatch to see how it performs. And in a very special story, we'll show you how one app can save your life. All you have to do is act fast. The Sol Systems held its first 3D Experience World in Nashville this week. Taking forward its 20-year SolidWorks world journey, the Sol Systems looked at bringing innovators, designers, entrepreneurs together under one roof to collaborate and experience the latest 3D technologies driving the industrial renaissance. More than 6,000 people and more than 350 technical sessions were held in the three days in the city of music and NDTV was at the heart of the coverage. We will explore all the amazing startups we met at the 3D Experience World on the show next week. Auto Expo concluded in Delhi this week with many electric vehicles dotting the event. Amongst these was Haima's new electric hatchback that plans to make an entry in India soon. And Tata's Sierra EV concept. Tata's new Gravitas also drew many eyeballs and is set to be the seven-seat version of the Harrier that is already on the roads. But other than cars, tyres made a lot of noise at Auto Expo too. JK Tyres launched a smart tyre range that included a cloud-based monitoring system of tyre parameters like air pressure. Tyre health can then be checked on the app or on the company's Treel webpage. The company also showcased an exciting range of concept tyres including puncture-proof tyres, fuel saver tyres and EV specific tyres at the event. We will take a detailed look at these tyres and all other highlights from the Auto Expo on the Gadgets 360 show next weekend. So I went out, out of studios because you know there's not too much space out here for me to ride a scooter. I wanted to try out the Aether 450X. Now this is a brand new scooter from the company Aether. Originally they had actually launched it with the Aether 450. Only two cities, Chennai and Bangalore, did very, very well. Now they have a national rollout. Ten cities and then more and more and more. Some of the things that they've done with this scooter that is dramatically different is things like range, the fact that you can actually charge it wherever, any 5 amp, I mean just plug it in, you'll get 80-90 kilometers of range, you have no range anxiety. The actual screen on this is more like an iPad or a tablet. So many different things that you can do with it. This is real tech in a scooter. It's connected, it's online, it's fantastic looking. And we also got to speak with the co-founder. Here's our review of the Aether 450X and where I went out to actually experience it. You know, I think I've literally done every single kind of gadget or device on this show. I'm actually been thinking since I've come here, is there anything I've left out? And then I finally came to the conclusion, yes. And that gets covered today. I've never done an electric scooter. I've done literally every single thing. And this is a very, very exciting category because think about it. As a country, a scooter has pretty much been the mainstay of people's transportation to get from A to B. But now that paradigm dramatically shifts. This is the Ether 450X. It's just, just got launched. And this is a, a, the next version of the 450. They came out a long while back with that one. Only two cities, Bangalore and Chennai. Now they're coming into 10 cities. 
But this is, you can call it an electric scooter, but this is actually a smart gadget. I mean, from the screen to what it can do, the range, the battery pack, the fact that you actually subscribe, it's got a subscription model. Everything that they've got happening with it, including the features and the category and the torque, the speed, how it responds to you. This is a connected vehicle. It actually has things like Google Maps and everything else built in. This is dramatically different from what I even thought. When I was invited out here to experience this, I was like, yeah, right, another electric vehicle, what's the big deal? Now that I've come here and I've been shown what all it can do, and you'll see it in my review, I'm actually flabbergasted. So let's take a look at the product, and then we'll talk to the co-founder and find out why did they get into this, what's the big deal, what are the feature sets, and why a subscription. We're a generation on the go and we need to charge everything from phones to laptops to smart wearables. And if one startup Aether Energy has its way, you'll soon be charging your vehicle of choice too. Aether Energy has launched the company's updated scooter, the new Aether 450X, which will replace the existing Aether 450. The new intelligent scooter comes in two variants, the 450X Plus and the 450X Pro, which have different performance levels which can be switched according to riding style and different payment plans. The Aether 450X is scheduled to hit Indian roads by July 2020 and comes with an interesting subscription-based buying model. So you can either opt to pay the Rs 99,000 X showroom price up front or opt for the subscription model and pay Rs 1,999 per month for the Aether 450X Pro which includes free access to the Aether Grid Charging Network, Aether Connect which enables over-the-air software updates as well as remote diagnostics. For Delhi, the X showroom price of the Aether 450X Pro is expected to be around 85,000 rupees, subject to Delhi State Electric Vehicle Policy Clearance. For the Aether 450X Plus, monthly subscription has been pegged at rupees 1,699 rupees. We got to see the smart scooter in all its glory and were quite impressed. The Aether 450X boasts of more performance and range, so that the range anxiety that you normally associate with electric vehicles can be discarded. You also get wider tyres on the 450X and a maximum power rated at 6 kW, which is around 8 bhp and a peak torque rated at 26 Nm. If you're thinking that this is more of a toy than a mode of effective transport, think again. Because this e-scooter comes with a top speed of up to 80 km per hour and an improved acceleration so you can go from 0 to 40 km per hour in just 3.3 seconds. Another pain point associated with electric vehicles is battery and the Aether 450X combats this with a maximum claimed range of 85 km on a single charge owing to its 2.9 kWh lithium-ion battery. The smart scooter comes in new colors with built-in 4G LTE and a new Snapdragon quad-core processor. You get an Android open-source operating system which is more intuitive and user-friendly. And it's pretty easy to use the 7-inch touchscreen to toggle between different modes like Eco, Ride and Sport. The Bluetooth smartphone connectivity allows you to receive calls, play music and navigate with Google Maps all on the go. The Aether mobile app offers personalized ride statistics, charging status and other important metrics. And now, let's get some more insights from the co-founder. Now, let's get down to what can I expect. Let's say I've been a traditional, like you said, yeah. person who drives a scooter or any two, two-wheeler. doesn't matter if it's a scooter or not because this really is a dramatically different thing from a traditional <coughs> petrol scooter. Mm. What can I expect when I get into something like this, which I've never experienced before. I've never done electric before. No. I've never ever done something which is a smart vehicle. I've never done anything which actually has things like a smart screen, connectivity, a 4G SIM, and all of these things put together. Take me through very, very quickly. What will I expect? First, the sheer response of the vehicle, right? And that's electric, fundamentally, right? Um, every single time anybody's taken a test ride, and I've been at an experience center enough to see that, there's a smile that pops up. Because you just don't expect that out of a scooter, right? You expect a scooter to do something different, something more tame, something more simple. And then you twist the throttle here and like you're flying, right? Uh, so you've got 200 newton meters of torque at the wheel with X. That's a lot, right? And that screams. So first is the sheer response of the vehicle, right? And, and that in traffic shows. Uh, the second thing uh, that you start discovering over a period of a few days of ownership is the entire software, right? So most of a community that's already built up now loves the fact that we've been able to, not that we don't really have a dashboard. Like the dashboard software keeps upgrading over a period of time. Third, which is very different about us compared to everybody in the electric space, is the charging time and the fact that we have a charging network all over uh, Bangalore, Chennai and now other cities. 
So we offer super fast charging, uh, which is basically 15 kilometers in 10 minutes, right? Uh, so you literally just need 10 minutes and you've got enough range to go back home. There are tons of high headline items that are very different and some of the key things that you'll notice on the vehicle. Why a subscription? Why should I take one? Why shouldn't it be that I go back to the traditional thought of, I bought it, it's mine, why should I pay for it every month? What do I get? Right. So first, this is different from a lease because uh, in our pricing structure, you buy the vehicle in and and the vehicle is yours. Right. You don't have to worry about that. We're not taking the vehicle back. Uh, what you've done with subscription is, is solve one of the big problems that we see newcomers in the EV space struggle with, new customers struggle with. First is the battery life. Right. A lot of customers are really concerned that, oh, at the end of three years, which is a warranty period, your battery will die. And I'll, then I'll spend like 40,000 rupees replacing a battery pack. Right. We think we've done a great job in designing it, and with X, we've done better. But how do we give you that assurance, right? So what we've done is with subscription, we basically guarantee your battery pack not for three, four, five years, but for the life of the entire vehicle, okay. right? So that just changes the pattern completely. X only, it's do you care about ownership of the battery, or do you care about the the performance that you get out of the battery? And increasingly, the market is changing, right? People are caring more about the performance that they get, the experience that they get, rather than saying give me that. Okay, now that you've actually seen that and things have really heated up with that scooter, time now to cool things down. Yes, we're about to enter that season where at least in certain parts of the country, South India and then after that in North India, ACs will become a mainstay. Now we did TCL's TV. The first TV that doesn't need a remote control, you could literally talk to that TV. But TCL really seems to be wanting to take smartness to a whole new level. And their AC is super smart too. What all can it do? What are the new features that this AC has that no other AC has? How does it connect to the rest of your world in and around you? That's what we're talking, going to talk about on TCL's Smart AC as our review. Now I'm going to show you how I'll set up the temperature in my room. I could have done it with an app even before I came home. So I want to come to a chilled room, I could have done that. But that and this is a little different. OK, Google, turn on AC. This AC does much more than blowing cool air. In fact, it may be smarter than many humans you know. This is TCL's recent IoT and AI-powered smart AC range, which comes with an ultra-inverter technology that is designed to save energy, especially in Indian summers. This air conditioner is powered by a high-density filter and silver ion filtration technology that maximizes air purification by removing bacteria from your room. So yes, it acts as a purifier too. You'll be enjoying bacteria-free cool air in those hot summer months. These TCL Smart ACs also come with a Goldfin condenser and an evaporator and TCL says the manufacturing materials are more durable. But the real game changer here is that these are no ordinary ACs. These are powered by TCL's AIX IoT system. So users can control the ACs through voice commands. You can also talk to your trusty Google Assistant and control your AC through mobile devices using the TCL Home app. Moreover, there are features such as a mute and a sleep mode. The AC comes in three modular variants, namely the Turbo Series, the Smart Series and the Elite Series. TCL claims that it is using an AI inverter algorithm and a smart diagnosis to provide low refrigerant detection and error detection on its new ACs. Also, the latest AC series comes with a fireproof electric control box. The new Smart AC family, which includes seven TCL AI Ultra Inverter air conditioner models ranging from 1 ton to 2 ton, are touted to provide non-stop cooling in up to 60 degrees Celsius and have a rapid cooling technology that claims to reduce the room temperature in just 30 seconds. While the Elite Series Turbo Air starts at 26,990 rupees, the Elite Series Smart Air starts at 28,990 rupees, and the Elite Series Eco Air is priced at rupees 40,990 rupees. We love the fact that AI and IoT are not just limited to phones and TVs, but are also expanding to indispensable gadgets like air conditioners. This is the Lenovo Carme. It's a smartwatch that looks really nice, a nice square design, not an Apple copy. That's, I think, the best part of it because literally everything you get today is an Apple copy. This one has its own identity, also has some fantastic features. It's priced at an incredible 3500 So, great screen, color screen, touch screen, has things like SPO2, sleep tracking, of course has heart rate tracking, lots and lots of other features. But what is really interesting is that for a great looking watch at a great looking price, it literally does every single thing you want. Right at the beginning I said, I'm struggling to find a feature that this watch cannot pull off. 
I think when the review is over, you're going to have similar feelings. The brand Lenovo is synonymous with a lot of high-end laptops and made quite a splash at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas with its foldable display, the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Fold. But in India, Lenovo is trying to make an impact in the wearable space too. So we were more than happy to strap on the Lenovo CarMe smartwatch which seems to pack in a host of features and is pretty easy on the pocket. While it was launched at around 3499 rupees, the watch is now available for 2999 rupees, making it even more pocket friendly. Mind you, the budget segment is now witnessing a revolution in terms of features, with brands like Playfit, Xiaomi and Huami's Amazfit offering the world at aggressive prices. So let's see how the Lenovo Carme fares. When it comes to looks, you heard it right, it's not an Apple Watch imitation like many budget smartwatches are. In fact, we would say it looks more like the Fitbit Versa. It looks sporty on the wrist and comes with silicone straps which feel light and comfortable. If you like a small dial and have small wrists, this may be the perfect fit for you since it is not overwhelming. There is a 1.3 inch IPS color display with a 2.5D curved design which performs well outdoors and there is no blind angle from any side, which is great. Come on Lenovo, we feel we deserved an OLED display. The watch also comes with a one-touch sensor which does the job. At this price point, it is also commendable that the Lenovo Carme is IP68 rated, making it waterproof and dustproof. There are only three watch faces, which is a bit of a bummer, and they don't add much to the display. The interface is just about OK and needs improvement. We did, however, like the fact that you can shake the wrist to wake the watch. This only works sometimes, though. Navigation is easy breezy with the buttons on the side, which have a nice tactile feel along with the touch button. When it comes to battery, the 200 mAh juice on this smartwatch lasted us around 5 to 6 days with heavy use, which included taking calls, working out and receiving notifications. Lenovo claims 7 days, so we're not complaining. In terms of features, you get 24-7 heart rate monitoring which performs well and there is sleep tracking too. The fitness modes are limited to 8 but there is quite a lot of variety here, skipping, badminton, basketball and running. And the watch gets a special mention since you can swim with it too. You can also check the weather and browse through other social media apps, though this isn't much fun on the IPS display. The pedometer allows you to record the activity data for the whole day in real time to track your fitness more comprehensively. The watch comes with Bluetooth 4.2 and we do feel Lenovo could have given us Bluetooth 5.0 given the competition in the market. Pairing was easy with the Lenovo Life app available on both Android and iOS and the app has a nice clean interface and records your progress and parameters. At under 3000 rupees, the Lenovo Carme doesn't leave much room for complaints with its features and design. A better interface and more watch faces would have made the deal sweeter for us. But if you're a fan of the brand Lenovo and want a decent smartwatch on the budget, look no further. Let's take a quick break right now on the show and we come back lots more including an app that can save your life. And now we're going to talk about an app. Apps have changed our lives in every which way, but can an app truly save our lives? Stroke SOS actually can do that. It's very intelligently put together. The founder is also a neurologist. So he's really thought about what are the most important things that are really required. An app can be just something out there or it can really, really have some impact on your life. This is Stroke SOS. We'll actually take a look at the app. We'll also talk to the founder. A sudden loss of consciousness. A headache accompanied with nausea. Sudden loss of memory or dizziness in the middle of what seems like an ordinary task. The moment the stroke symptoms set in, the clock starts ticking. Most people ignore these symptoms and this is why according to the Indian Stroke Association, one in four people will have a stroke in their lifetime. Despite its regular occurrence, the failure to take quick action results in the loss of life. One app is trying to change that. This is Stroke SOS, an app free to download on iOS and Android. The app aims to help patients identify the symptoms of a brain stroke and then seek help from the right hospital through the app itself. The app uses a technique called Be Fast to identify symptoms. That is, balance, eyes, arms, speech and time. If you experience dizziness or a sudden loss of vision, impaired speech, then it's time to act fast, as the app shows. The app also provides information on the types of strokes and helps patients understand that the first four and a half hours, called golden hours, are crucial for survival. 
Click on the Hospitals tab and you will find the different hospitals that are equipped to provide care during a stroke. You can click on the nearest hospital and there is a helpline number to notify the hospital, along with a Google Maps navigation link to help you reach there faster. We reckon that this app would be great for tourists travelling to India to seek help in such a medical emergency. Let's understand what happens when a stroke occurs and how this app can help. So the problem with stroke is that because there is rapid onset of deficit that is happening and the therapy can be done only in the first few golden hours, IV in four and a half hours and mechanical in the first six hours. So it is very important for patients to reach to a stroke ready hospital and get the therapy within this time. The purpose of this app is to provide real time information to patients as to where there are hospitals around them which, where they can get immediate medical attention. So supposing a patient develops a stroke, he has the app. The minute he goes onto the app, the app will pick up the location and immediately provide names of some stroke ready hospitals around that patient. That then is our show for this week. Remember, we are changing our format. We're changing everything. It's 2020. Things have changed on the show. Tell us what else you'd really love to see on the show. Every week, you'll see something new coming in. So do keep tracking us because we've got so many amazing things happening for you. Great stories coming in next week. See you on the show.